Electric current flowing through any conductor causes localized electric and magnetic fields, EMF. For example, when you are welding, the welding current flowing through your arc welder and welding cables creates an EMF field near the welder and the welding cables. Various studies have been conducted in order to determine if exposure to EMF causes some health effect. It has been suggested by some that exposure to EMF, for example from electric utility power lines, microwaves and cell phones, may cause various health effects, including cancer. To date, these health effects have not been confirmed by studies. However, EMF fields may interfere with some pacemakers and welders having a pacemaker or defibrillator should consult their physician before welding. Exposure to EMF fields in welding may have other health effects which are now not known. It is prudent for you to use good practice when arc welding to minimize your exposure to EMF. All welders should use the following procedures in order to minimize exposure to EMF fields from the welding circuit. Route the electrode and work cables together. Secure them with tape or tie wraps when possible. If the cables are routed together, the EMF field at that point is reduced. Never coil the electrode lead around your body. This practice should be followed for many reasons, including minimizing your exposure to EMF. The closer you are to the source of the field, the greater your exposure will be. Do not place your body between the electrode and work cables. If the electrode cable is on your right side, the work cable should also be on your right side. There is an EMF field at and between each cable. Connect the work cable to the workpiece as close as possible to the area being welded. Current flows through the workpiece from the welding arc to the work cable clamp. For this reason, there is an EMF field at the workpiece. Using a work connection close to the arc is always good welding practice because poor work connections are a frequent cause of problems with arc welding. Do not work next to the welding power source. The input and welding current flow inside the welder and create a localized EMF field near the welder. In addition to the above precautions, you may further minimize EMF exposure by welding at the lowest DC output settings acceptable for your welding application. This is particularly important if you have a pacemaker or defibrillator. In any event, if you have a pacemaker or defibrillator and wish to continue to weld, you must talk to your physician and follow the advice given. Your physician may want to contact the manufacturer of the pacemaker to obtain their recommendation about arc welding. In some cases, your physician may advise against continuing to weld.